In this video, we are going to look at how to compute probabilities using a normal distribution and your calculator. So here is a scenario. The Chicago Cubs have suffered a last minute injury to their starting pitcher. So they're going to select a pitcher from their minor league system to make that emergency start. Uh, we are going to assume that the average fastball velocity of a pitcher in the system is normally distributed with a mean of 95.8 miles per hour and a standard deviation of 2.4 miles per hour. So what the Cubs have decided to do is select a pitcher at random. So if they do this, what is the probability that the pitcher they select has an average fastball velocity of more than 99 miles per hour? Okay, so we're assuming that fastball velocity is normally distributed. So I can draw my normal distribution. And we know that the mean is going to be right in the middle. So that would be 95.8 miles per hour. We want to compute the probability that this pitcher selected at random will have a velocity of more than 99. Well, that would be somewhere over here. And the probability is the area under the normal distribution curve. So we really just want to find the area of that region to the right of 99. And on your calculator, we're going to use the normal CDF command. Normal CDF. So you can, so you can find that under the distributions menu. So you're going to press second and this variables button. You can see the distribution menu is above there. And we want the second option here, normal cumulative distribution function, normal CDF. And if you press enter, this menu is likely to come up. Uh, again, if you have an older uh, calculator that doesn't have this menu, you're just going to enter the numbers that I enter in the same order. So what we want is the lower value of the region in question and the upper value. So looking at my shaded region, the lower value is 99. So we're going to put 99 there and the upper value is infinity okay because essentially we don't have an upper value so for the upper value we need to put in infinity uh, your calculator doesn't really have infinity so we kind of fake it by just putting a really really big number here so what we can put is one and then uh, e so if you press second and the comma button and then 99 so this is essentially one to the 99th uh, this is 1 times 10 to the 99th power. So this is a, a 1 with 99 zeros after it. So it's not infinity, but it's it's a really big number. So we're going to use 99 as our upper and uh, 1 times 10 to the 99th power as our upper. The mean is 95.8 and the standard deviation is 2.4. So if you have the older calculator that doesn't give you this menu, you're just going to type these on your home screen in order. So it'll be 99 comma 1E99 comma 95.8 comma 2.4. So you'll just type it in like that. And that's what you're going to see when I go over here and hit paste anyway. So I'm going to press enter. So this is what you want it to look like. And then if I press enter again, it's going to give me that probability. So it looks like the probability is about 0.091, so it's about 9%. So there's about a 9% chance that this pitcher selected at random is going to have an average fastball more than 99 miles per hour. Okay, so let's answer a second question. What is the probability that this pitcher's fastball is going to be less than 95 miles per hour? Okay, so we're going to use the same distribution. It's a normal distribution. The mean is 95.8. And we want to find the probability that we pick a pitcher and his average fastball is less than 95. So 95 would be somewhere in here. And we want the area to the left of 95 because we want the probability that it's less than that. So just based on uh, the previous example, uh, we're looking for a much we're looking for a bigger number here because the shaded region is is bigger than the one in the previous example. Okay, so again we're going to use normal CDF, 
And in this case, looking at my picture, the lower end of the region is going to be negative infinity. So I can type that in the same way. I'll do negative 1e e to the 99th power. My upper is 95, and then the mean and standard deviation are the same. So we just want it to look like this. So I'm going to go back into the distributions menu. I'm going to choose normal CDF. And I want my lower to be negative infinity. I want the upper to be 95. And the mean and standard deviation are the same, 95.8 and 2.4. And I'll press Enter and Enter again. And it looks like it's about 37 percent. We get 0.369. So it looks like there's about a 37 percent chance that the pitcher we select is going to have an average fastball less than 95 miles per hour. Okay, so let's answer one more question. Let's suppose that we want to uh, narrow the field a little bit and the Cubs want to make sure that they choose a pitcher whose average fastball places them in the top 20 percent of all the pitchers in the system. What would that cutoff velocity be uh, that would represent the top 20 percent of all average fastball speeds. So this question is a little bit different. The first two questions we were given a velocity and asked to compute a probability. Now we're given the percentage and we're asked to find the velocity. So we're kind of working this backwards. But we're still in the same normal distribution so let's draw the picture. 95.8 is in the middle. We want the top 20%, which means we need to find this average velocity that gives me an area to the right of 20%. Okay, So we have the area. The area is going to be 0.2. We need to find the value in our distribution that cuts off the top 20% from the bottom 80%. So we are going to be using a different command. We're not going to use normal CDF. We want to use inverse normal. So that's going to be inverse norm. Okay. That's still found under the distributions menu. So I'm going to go back into the distributions menu. Inverse norm is right below normal CDF. It's uh, choice number three. And press enter. And again, most of you will have this menu come up. And we just enter the area. Um, when you use inverse norm, when it says area, it wants the area to the left. So that's important to remember. We have to give the area to the left always. We're looking for 20% to the right. So our area to the left would actually be 80.80 80 or 80%. So that's what I'm going to put in. Oops, typed it in the wrong spot. So that's what I'm going to put in for the area. Okay, I want an area of 80% to the left. The mean is still 95.8. The standard deviation is still 2.4. So for those of you doing the uh, who don't have this menu, you're just going to type in these three numbers. Okay, and you always want the tail to be on the left if you give the uh, if you give the left area. Okay. So we can leave everything like that. We'll go ahead and press enter. And that's going to give me 97.8 miles per hour. So approximately 97.8 miles per hour. So they would uh, narrow down their pitchers in the pool and they would only randomly select a pitcher from the group whose average fastball is higher than 97.8 miles per hour. Okay, hopefully you found this useful.